Hello everybody. So today we are going to clean some rocks using muriatic acid. And this stuff is wicked. It needs some special care. So make sure that um, you're using gloves. Um, right now I'm just filling the pail up to almost cover the rocks. Uh, you want to make sure that the rocks are completely covered, so. And like I said, make sure you wear gloves. Uh, you probably should be wearing a apron and face shield as well. Um, I don't have an apron. I do have eye protection. This stuff will burn a hole in your pants. the only stuff I know of at Canadian Tire that has a bag around it. Muratic acid. You can get it at Canadian Tire. You can get it at home hardware. But be very careful. And make sure you have lots of baking soda on hand to neutralize the acid. And I've seen people mix their mixture 50-50 water to muriatic acid. Um, I'm going to do a little less than that. Um, I think I only poured in a couple of cups. Not a lot, but you can see the action that I'm getting, the bubbles. And that's the calcite. Um, the acid is just reacting with the calcite in the rocks. So anything that has calcite on it is going to melt away. There's some tremolite in there that is in calcite. And I think there's some fluorite, purple fluorite that's in calcite. Not sure what I'm doing here. Playing with acid. <laughs> Here's some uh, purple fluorite after soaking in acid for, I, I think I did about four hours. I soaked it in the pail for about four hours. And this is um, tremolite in calcite. And you can see the calcite was melted away. Um, it, if I had left it in overnight, it would have melted away even more. And then I would have been left with just the tremolite. But I don't know. I, I think I kind of like it the way it is. This is tremolite from um, Salerno Lake. And I swear, this is from the 620 road cut. And I swear this is uh, garnet, um, small garnets in it. I've got a whole bunch of this stuff and it just looks like there's more purple fluorite. It just looks like garnet to me. That's more purple fluorite in calcite.
more tremolite. That's a pretty cool piece. Didn't quite turn out as clean as I thought. Maybe I do need to do a stronger uh, solution. Just seems like a lot. 50-50. A lot of this stuff um, I just tossed. If I didn't like it, the way it looked, I tossed it on the floor. I'll still keep it, but... I'm kind of just sorting into interesting and not interesting. Interesting. Oh, why did I throw that out? Like I said, I'm not throwing it out. I'm just putting it in a corner. This stuff, I don't know. I don't know if I polish that. But it it looks, it's kind of buggy. And it looks like there's mineralization inside it. So I don't know whether to polish it or maybe cut it in half. And see what's inside it. I don't know. But this is all stuff from the uh, 620 road cut. And I swear there's garnets in there, but they're they're small. They're they're small garnets. More tremolite. That's a big solid chunk. Just look at the red in there. It needs more cleaning. Maybe, uh, maybe it's some stronger solution or something. Um, it's definitely interesting. If anybody knows anything about this stuff, let me know in the comments. Again, it's from the 620 road cut. And it kind of looks like garnet to me. See the red in there? Purple fluorite. more of that stuff. Again, if you know what that is, let me know. Purple fluorite. That's that big chunk of tremolite. Don't know what 
what that is. Sandstone. <laughs> Look at that. I like it, whatever it is. Ladybug. And there's that tremolite again in the calcite. If you like my channel, please help me out by subscribing. There is a red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. Click on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell and click all and you'll get a notification each and every time I upload a new video.